Alright, this is called, I think, Gap, Arizona. It's pretty cool red rock cliffs. But, um, yeah, I had a really cool experience. Uh, right as I was leaving Flagstaff and got on 89 North, um, see this Native American guy with his thumb up, you know, wanting to hitchhike. And having just dropped off Danny, and it's just me again, you know, not to worry about protecting a beautiful woman. I was like, of course, of course I'll give this guy a ride. His name's Anthony. Um, he hops in and uh, gave him a ride for a little under an hour, but you know, it would have been I mean, a day, day or two's walk. Glad I was able to help him out, but uh, oh man, these cliffs are getting pretty cool. But yeah, um, this cool guy, he was half, I think he said half Hopi, half Navajo, or Apache, a few of those, but um, the road's getting a little bumpy. I can keep hearing my suspension bottom out, it's like the worst feeling in the world. It's like no cartilage in your knee, just bone on bone. But uh, ooh, we're at an elevation of 5,000 feet. Getting up there again. But uh, ooh, there we go. Yes, yes. Ooh, we got some more cool stuff ahead. But yeah, I just asked him about you know life on the reservation, and he's just a very, very loving, very accepting man, and. Um, where he lives in Tuba City, uh, right before you get into town, there's a spot where you can see dinosaur tracks. And so he uh, took me over to that, and one of his friends named Dale was uh, kind of giving tour guide and people. These Indians will uh, sell jewelry for money, but then they'll do uh, tour guides and they just run off of tips, or they just do it even if you don't have any money they just like to tell people about the dinosaur tracks so gotta see some pterodactyl tracks some uh, velociraptor and a few uh, bones and eggs and stuff is really cool I've never seen it in real life but uh, yeah, this landscape's just super gnarly really cool but uh, yeah gotta get back to driving